what will a resurgent Japan do in case China invades Taiwan? That is what we will be discussing in this special edition of Strat News Global. I'm Ramananda Sen Gupta. We're here at the conference on new Sinology hosted by the Organization for Research on China and Asia. And with me today is Dr. Shinji Yamaguchi from the National Institute of Defense Studies, Tokyo. Dr. Yamaguchi, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, Dr. Yamaguchi, you're a specialist on China's defense policy, politics, and um, history. Yeah. And uh, I understand that you're also the author of the uh, NIDS uh, report on security report on China. So let's take it right from the top. Um, last year, your Prime Minister Fumio Kishida released three very important documents, which are seen as the biggest change in Japan's defense policy since uh, World War II. Could you just walk us through the thinking behind that, particularly given that you already have a security arrangement with the USA? Mm -hmm. What was the thinking behind those three documents? Uh, yeah, I think that the, uh, 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 the context of three documents is that the uh, changing and severing uh, security, security environment surrounding Japan. Because the, we have uh, we have been uh, uh, surrounded by uh, many uh, nuclear power nu nu nuclear uh, 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 armed countries like the Ro China, Russia, and North Korea, right. and uh, our uh, security situation has become much more uh, severe and severe. So uh, I think that the uh, context of, of our three documents is that the uh, to uh, how to cope with these uh, severe severe security situations. That is the, our uh, basic thinking. And of course, uh, the, uh, the US-Japan alliance is the, uh, uh, our uh, uh, cornerstone of our, our security policy. But however, uh, I think that the, uh, uh, we need to uh, gear up our, uh, our, our own, own uh, efforts. That is the uh, basic thinking about the uh, three documents, I think. Mm -hmm. So what does that really mean on the ground in terms of your defense forces and the way the, it's all organized and set up? Because earlier it was a very, very defensive kind of a posture. Have you now decided to go on the sort of an, sort of an offensive position? No, actually, uh, the, uh, we can see the more, uh, more of continuation because the uh, uh, severing security situations surrounding Japan has, uh, was not a, not, not a new thing. Uh, we have uh, faced with, especially with the uh, Chinese uh, pressures uh, uh, since the 2010s. And uh, we have uh, the, uh, uh, changed, uh, shifted uh, the, our focus on the more on the southwestern islands, uh, our side southwestern islands. I mean, uh, Oki uh, Okinawa Prefecture, uh, I, mean, I mean, how should I say, sorry, uh, uh, the south southwestern islands. That, that, that is the, uh, our basic policy. And uh, the, the, in, in that sense, our policy uh, is con uh, continued. Uh, so what is changing is the, uh, we, we should uh, uh, develop uh, more uh, capabilities, uh, especially thinking uh, about the, uh, how to uh, 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 counterattack uh, the uh, uh, possible uh, adversaries for attack. That is the uh, kind of new uh, development for all Japan's uh, capability, I think. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you mentioned three threats. One is Russia, then North Korea, and of course China. Um, was there any thinking as well on, you know, particularly post Afghanistan, the US patrol, was there also any thinking of hedging your bets against the American treaty? Uh, basically, I think uh, the US Japan alliance is really uh, robust uh, right now. Uh, however, uh, the, uh, we, we need more. We, we need to do more about the, uh, our security. That, that is, that is the uh, current our thinking. I think. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know, but one of the other things that everybody's been talking about is that this new strategy is going to be very, very expensive for Japan. How do you propose to raise the funding for all that? Um, you know, uh, the, secure, uh, the uh, defense budget of, of Japan has been, had been uh, really uh, stable 
uh, despite of the severe insecurity situation, we couldn't uh, raise, raise the uh, uh, defense spending over time. Mm -hmm. So uh, this, the, uh, now uh, we, we, we decided to uh, gear up our uh, defense budget, but still it's not, not uh, the, uh, it's, it's a natural, natural de development of the, uh, to uh, respond to severe situa situa security situations. And uh, the uh, because of the we uh, our defense spend spending was uh, stable over uh, like the uh, like a decade, so still we have uh, we we don't uh, spend uh, enough about security issue. I think security uh, defense issue. I think. Mm -hmm. And you know, when it, particularly when it comes to Taiwan, uh, I recently saw two sort of U.S. reports. One was a Rand Corporation report, and one was that. Center for New American Security, which has another report. Both of them, in a sort of a roundabout way, sort of hint that, you know, because of this new strategy of Japan, it is also time to sort of revise the treaty arrangement, simply because um, they're not very sure that Japan will agree to sort of um, let the US be a staging point to invade China in case China decides to invade Taiwan. So is that decision going to be a political one, or is that something that has already been agreed upon? Um, first, we need to think about the uh, security situation surrounding Taiwan, because, the, uh, because of uh, China's growing military power, uh, uh, security, uh, military threat against uh, Taiwan uh, from China has been uh, intensified, or, or intensified over time. Uh, especially recently, China has conducted uh, the, uh, many, many uh, military, military exercises surrounding Taiwan and dispatched so many uh, jet fighters surrounding Taiwan or, or, or sending, sending vessels uh, to pressure, put, put pressure over Taiwan. Uh, um, that's the, uh, the basic, uh, what, uh, why we uh, have to think more about Taiwan issue. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's one thing. Uh, and secondly, uh, the, uh, however, I think that the, uh, uh, China's uh, invasion over Taiwan is the, uh, of course, it's, it's possible, but, but it, it's not uh, the imminent, I think, uh, because still uh, the China's uh, uh, military power has some, some, some limitations. Uh, it's still, I think, uh, the, uh, difficult to uh, direct attack, uh, directly attack uh, Taiwan, Taiwan Island. That's second second point. And sadly, as, as, uh, when it comes to uh, what does it mean, mean uh, what, what does uh, the Taiwan issue mean for ta Japan is the, as uh, the former, former Prime Minister uh, Abe Shinzo mentioned, uh, the uh, uh, Taiwan, Taiwan's, uh, secu uh, Taiwan, sorry, Taiwan security is, is, is Japan's security. Uh, the world shows the, uh, uh, the importance of Taiwan to Japan, uh, importance of, uh, importance of ta Taiwan to security of Japan. Uh, so oh, I think that the, uh, for Japan, Japan uh, in the case of uh, Taiwan uh, inv uh, invasion of Taiwan by by the P uh, China, and uh, if uh, the United, United States uh, uh, decide decide to intervene the situation, then uh, we we, sh we should support uh, the U.S. U.S. operations. The, uh, and I think that uh, the uh, it um, it's political. Uh, it may be a political uh, decision, but still, it, it, is, it, is, it, it is a very, very important point for us, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, the treaty with the U.S. is basically, you know, in case Japan is under attack. So do you think it should be expanded to also include, you know, I understand Taiwan, I mean, Japan saying that, uh, you know, any invasion of Taiwan is a major security threat for Japan as well. Yeah. But do you think the treaty with the U.S. should now sort of include that as part of the thing, or do you think it should be sort of modified in some way? Um, uh, that, it depends on the, uh, how China's attack on Taiwan uh, will unfold. I mean, I mean if, if China uh, uh, starts uh, the, the, uh, the attack on Taiwan by uh, attacking uh, the uh, U.S. bases in Japan, then uh, the case is the direct attack against, against Japan. Uh, in that case, uh, the, uh, the logic is very, very, very simple, simple because it is it, attack on Japan soil. Uh, however, the trick, more, more uh, tricky one is the uh, non uh, direct attack against against Japan. That that is the more, more tricky case. And uh, now, actually, uh, the, we haven't decided the uh, 
what, uh, what, what is the basis of uh, legal basis of, of, of the mm -hmm. uh, how, how uh, of the Japan's response? Uh, that's uh, more uh, more of the uh, uh, the issue of discussion. Uh, but uh, but uh, at the same time, I think that the uh, uh, whether or not China uh, attack uh, the U.S. bases in in, in Japan is the point of uh, issue actually uh, in even in the strategic circle in Japan Japan. But my my my. Uh, my understanding or my point is that the uh, China, uh, in, in the case of full-scale full attack against uh, uh, Taiwan by China, then they have to attack uh, the uh, U.S. bases in Japan because because uh, if they don't attack the uh, uh, if they don't attack the U.S. bases in Japan, then uh, the U.S. force in Japan will be uh, will uh, the uh, uh, we, we, we remain uh, remain undamaged. It, 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 will, it will create, create the uh, very dangerous situation for Chinese, Chinese, Chinese force. So, militarily speaking, uh, uh, the uh, milita uh, only uh, purely uh, under the uh, sorry, uh, purely militarily speaking, uh, the uh, uh, Ch China uh, should uh, China will be att will attack uh, the U.S. bases in Japan. Mm -hmm. That's my these point. reports basically that I was talking about. They also spoke about you know uh, having much. Um, bigger access to Japanese assets and, you know, much larger deployment of American, not just uh, weapons, but also forces in Japan. How well will that go down domestically? Is, there, is that okay with Japan? I mean, with the people of Japan? Um, I think that the, uh, that is the, uh, do, uh, for the domestic public, uh, this is the issue uh, we need to uh, uh, discuss more. Uh, however, uh, the, uh, uh, for Japan, U.S.-Japan alliance, this is very, very important, important matter, and it it uh, it uh, matters for the uh, uh, not 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 only not only not only the security of Taiwan, but also the security of Japan as well. So, so I, I, uh, my point uh, my uh, point is that the, uh, we we need to uh, uh, support uh, the uh, U.S. of U.S. operations in the case of, in the case of uh, the. Uh, in any situation, uh, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, China's invasion of Taiwan. Yeah. You spoke about three threats right in the beginning: Russia, yeah. North Korea, and of course China. Um, do you see all three of them sort of, you know, ganging up against Japan at any given point of time? Has that been war game? Because then you would have to sort of, you know, look at three different directions and put your forces in. Yeah, that, that would that, sort of stretch pretty thin. Yeah, that's a very interesting question because the, now we have seen the uh, uh, China Russia's um, not alliance, but still uh, they, they cooperate very very closely. And uh, now uh, the uh, uh, Kim Jong Un, uh, North Korea's Kim Jong Un visit, visited uh, the Russia, and uh, now uh, the uh, North Korean Russian uh, relationship has deepened deepening. So. Uh, uh, I think Russia, China, uh, North Korea is not a monolithic, monolithic alliance. But still, uh, we ha maybe we, uh, we 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 will see uh, the loosely co loosely coordinated uh, their camp. That that, that is that maybe maybe uh, the uh, uh, the problem uh, we, we we have to cope with in the near future. Uh, that is really. Uh, Problematic for us uh, when when we look at when we thinking about the any uh, security uh, uh, I mean contingency situations in East Asia, then we have to think about the uh, possible coordination of act, act, uh, action between the Russia and China and North Koreans. That is, uh, I, I, I'm not I'm not I, I'm not saying that the uh, they will fight each other uh, fight f fight with each other. I, I right. mean fight uh, 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 shoulder shoulder to shoulder. That's impossible, mm -hmm. but uh, in the for example, in the case of uh, Ta uh, China's invasion of Taiwan, uh, at, uh, at the same time, uh, North Korea <laughs> do, doing some um, I, mean, I don't know about uh, uh, missile test or something like that, uh, and at the, uh, simultaneously, uh, Russian uh, uh, jet, jet fighters are uh, uh, going around Japan. Or something. That, that's that's really possible. Mm -hmm. We'll just close with the last question. You know, you're, you're you're an expert on Chinese history and Chinese philosophy. Is a Chinese invasion of Taiwan a question of if, or is it a question of when? Hmm. I mean, do you think it's it's a given that they will 
try to take Taiwan, or do you think that's you know not likely to happen anytime <coughs> soon, or could? Uh, I think still uh, for them, for Ch for China, uh, uh, unification of Taiwan by non, non uh, by non military means is the best best option best option because uh, using using military military means uh, uh, cost cost much uh, to Ch China China as well. Uh, however, uh, the possibility of uh, the uh, so peaceful unification, uh, I mean, from China's point of view, peaceful unification has been uh, narrowing. So China has to uh, re rely more on military power. Uh, but still, I think that the uh, uh, invasion, uh, a possibility of invasion is not so uh, high uh, uh, in coming uh, for like five years or something. I, I don't. I don't believe the uh, uh, China, China uh, invading Taiwan by 2027. Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much, Dr. Yamaguchi, for joining us. I appreciate your taking time out for us, and I hope you have a very very nice stay in India. Thank you. Is very this much. your first visit? Yes. yes. Have you been here before? Yes. Okay. This is. I, first. I hope you have a really nice trip here. Yeah. Thank you very much. It is really interesting. That was Dr. Shinji Yamaguchi talking to us on Japan and the. Uh, options it has in case uh, China decides to invade Taiwan. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next time. Till then, goodbye.